Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Quick Points Podcast. I'm Pat O'Rourke, I'm the sports editor at the BU News Service. Alongside me is BU News Service contributor, Alex Hirsch. And uh, Alex, uh, another win for the Patriots. They're 9-0 and and, uh, you know, <laughs> I... Before, yeah, before it was a nerve wracking win. <laughs> yeah, but he, hell of a win. Hell of a win. They definitely exercised some demons in that game, though. Oh my I mean, god, absolutely! Between the final drive and the drop, the dropped interception, the dropped touchdown pass, there was. It seemed like everything went wrong for the Giants in the last like three minutes of the game, as opposed mm-hmm. to like everything going wrong for the Patriots in the last three minutes well, of the game. It's which about was time very we nice got some see. good karma, you know. It's about time. We last three games, it's been. I think God was probably like, you know, hey, you can have this one. You've lost your last two Super Bowls to this team on ridiculous yeah. plays. So pretty much. And then, <laughs> the and then there was a game in twenty eleven where yeah. they lost yeah, they lost that one the final drive, the uh the great Jake Ballard yeah. game. Football football gods were smiling down on the Patriots on oh. Sunday. So they, we we deserved it. <laughs> yeah, we do deserve it. But it was one hell of a game, hell of a kick by Steven Gostowski, a hell of a uh fourth quarter drive by mm-hmm. uh, two minute drill by Tom Brady, though Giants might have messed that one up. They probably shouldn't have given us as much time. But, you know, uh, no. that's that's Belichick getting into people's heads without yeah, even exactly, doing anything. Exactly. <laughs> so. Belichick is not usually one to get out coached. So. No, he does not. But they are they're undefeated right now. They're 9-0. and Question, can they run the table? I think it's possible for them to go 16-0. and You look at the remainder of their schedule, they got seven games, and they're all winnable games. Mm-hmm. I just don't see them going, going 16-0 and in a regular season. Well, you know, I think an interesting point is you, you look at the next two games. They're Bill uh, versus Bills at home, yep. and then at Broncos. Um, the interesting part about both of those games is they're both prime time. Patriots thrive in prime time. So I, even the Broncos are supposed to be one of the tougher teams that we're supposed to play this year. Supposed even, to be. Supposed to be. But it's at it's at Denver, which makes it a little bit more difficult. But Peyton's clearly hurt. He's missing this week. Osweiler's going to play. Who knows if Peyton will be back for yep. in two weeks. So if Osweiler plays, I'm definitely chalking that up as a win. If Peyton plays, the only, I might chalk that up as a win anyway. The only Peyton's concern you have so with the, bad, but, but even with Peyton in there, the only concern you really have with the Broncos is their defense. Well, the, the point is, though, my, my point that I'm trying to make is they're both at prime time. And yeah. prime time is if Peyton does play, it's where Peyton normally poops himself. And it's where... Tom Brady flourishes and Belichick mm-hmm. flourishes, and I don't trust the Bills on the time be... regardless. That's at home. Patriots should win that game normal, easily. They're probably both cold weather games too, night games in prime time. So well, they, I mean, the, bill, eh, the there's, Bills, there's the Bills should one. be fine in the cold weather. I mean, they play in the cold weather regardless. But, but Brady, Brady is unbeatable Brady, in the cold weather. Brady's unbeatable, but Peyton just doesn't know how to play in the cold weather, and yeah. Peyton also doesn't know how to play in prime time. So I think those are two interesting games that – you know, at one point, people were like, well, maybe maybe those Bron- that Broncos game is the game we lose. I don't think so anymore. I don't think, I think, well, I don't think Peyton knows how to play period anymore. I he think doesn't. he's lost it. I think he's but, done. So those are those are two those – that was a game people were considering maybe we'd lose. I don't think so anymore. I think after that, you've got um, Eagles at home, at the Texans, versus the Titans at home, at the Jets, and then at the Dolphins. The only one that makes me a little bit nervous, it would be at Jets. Just because the Jets play us well, but the I Jets at, don't even look the good right now. worries me. Oh god, come on, that team is so bad. I yeah, know but you look at the, the you look at the people night, that are there. Uh, T.J. Yates might be a, the starting quarterback. Yeah, but if the people are there. That's like that's Patriots itself. It, it screams of the uh, remember the Cleveland the Cleveland game in 2010. It could be a situation like that, except Bill O'Brien will be getting a Gatorade shower if they win. No, I, well, they won't act like they won the Super Bowl. That team, that team is not going to beat us. It's a bad. That is a bad, bad uh, team. Good defense. But Houston, good defense, Houston's another place. Houston is another team. place where weird things happen down there. Uh, yeah, but remember not the a, game. The game a few years back. Things, uh, not enough weird things for us to lose an undefeated season. Over. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. The only They've one I some... like. I only one that nerve wracks me is at the Jets, just because. Jets play us well. I don't think the Jets are that great of a team right now. I think they have the potential to be a good team when Fitzpatrick's on I don't his think game. Very good. When he's on his game, that's a good team. But Fitzpatrick is such an inconsistent player that you know you never know what you're going to get out of him. But at Jets, Jets play us well. They 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 step it up a notch. Whether it's Rex Ryan or Todd Bowles, they played us well at home. Um, so that's a game that makes me nervous. But honestly, I still think we could win that. I think we beat the Texans. If uh, there's another game I had to choose, it might be the at Dolphins in Week 17. I could see that because is Tom Brady playing? Are are we resting those guys? I would say if we had a Week Nine bye this year, Tom Brady be playing. We be we wouldn't be resting those guys. But because our bye was so early this year, this team desperately mm-hmm. needs rest. 
very much so. But they're and the probably Dolphins could be fighting for a playoff spot. We don't know. I mean, they're probably going to have a team. first round bye already, though. So do they are they going to want back to back weeks off? Maybe they give them. Maybe they rest some guys in week sixteen against the Jets, and then week seventeen they they put. I would give I'd give them back to back weeks you off would. in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, I think this is a team that you can give back to back weeks off, yeah. but. The, this, the league is so bad right now. Well, I guess now. they did last year, now that I think the, of it. The but. league is so bad right now that the Dolphins, even though they're 4-5, and five, they, they have a shot at ma- being a wild card team right now. Oh, yeah. They yeah, legitimately definitely. do. They are only two games back from a wild card Well, spot. how many teams are really out of it right now? Um, only the, the, Ravens. the Ravens, the Browns. Yeah, the Browns. Um, Handful and of teams. And the Chargers, because the Titans aren't even technically out of it because they well, could still win that the, division. Um, they're 2-7 and seven right now. but they're Yeah, but the Chargers aren't going to. The no, two and no, seven? no, I'm talking about the Titans are 2-7, and seven, but they could still win that division because they're oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No one in yeah. the AFC South is out of it. So, um, but the wild card-wise, the Dolphins are only two games back from the Steelers for the lead wild card spot and then one game back from everyone else. That's doable. So it's absolutely doable, which means it, uh, there's a good chance that they could be fighting for a playoff spot at the end of the year, which could be, and it's the Patriots are benching mm. some players, even if they're not. Maybe they're not, maybe they're not resting them, but they're probably not playing as hard, probably not going all out. All out. That's a, that's a legitimate chance. The question is, do you think if the Patriots are fifteen and zero, Belichick would bench his players for another when he knows he has another shot at going to getting that infamous undefeated season? Because I'm sure that that stings in the back of his head right now. If the, the more of a sting is that they lost the Super Bowl, but it if they're trying overall. to go if they're trying to go sixteen and zero, I think they go for it. You, do you think I mean, they're you, trying to run the gamut this year. I mean, th- that's what they that's what they wanted to do. That's what they wanted to do in 2007, and they blew everyone apart because they well, wanted not, to prove everyone. Not to be a walking cliche, but I think you, you try to win every game you play. Absolutely, but, uh, but trying to win every game you play means probably not bench, uh, benching Tom Brady in Week 17. Yeah, they probably play. It, if they're 15 and 0, they're playing Tom Brady in Week 17. I, mean, I like it. it. I you, like it too. You want you want to go sixteen? It, Absolutely. That's something you want to do. That that's a cool accomplishment to go sixteen. That's Absolutely. why. That's why that banner was up there. That's why I like looking. That's why they shouldn't have taken that banner down. No, I like was, it. It's good that too. banner should have. That banner should still be up there. That sixteen zero <laughs> banner. That's something that nobody's ever done before. That's the difference between the Indianapolis Colts saying two thousand fourteen AFC finalist. Is it teams uh, go to the a- teams lose in the AFC championship every year? There's a difference. Only one team has ever gone 16 and 0 after 2007 Patriots. Sure, they sh- there should be a banner a, up there. It's a harsh reminder, though, of what happened that year that they uh, lost. I don't it's know. Absolutely. Oh, when I look at that, all I think about is David Tyree. That's all I can think about. And I, you know what? To I see bet that's, you that's what Belichick thinks about. I bet you that's what Brady thinks about. Th- there's no way they see it anymore. Yeah, we're all, we're all, we're all going to remember that season for how it ended. Yeah, but so just, that's not but that's I, a cool I, reminder. I, <laughs> but I still remember that regular season. That was such a cool regular season. It was. That was so cool to fun, cool to see. That was so fun to watch. I was so invested into it. I remember that Ravens game. Well, it, where, you it know, was. Don Scholl was in the booth cheering for the Ravens openly. It, it was. And but the, what's the similarity between that season and this season? Both are coming off of um, off seasons where the team oh, yeah, was under definitely. scrutiny. So, the, and both are now in, having historic seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, Brady at the helm of both of them. Belichick w- there, just there with them. Now maybe it's a completely different team. There's, I think, is Brady and Gostowski the only? Is, I don't even know if Gostowski was on that team. Yeah, Gostowski was. That was Gostowski's second year. Okay, so there's two players from that team. I think, if I'm correct, N- I don't think yeah, Nikovic was on that a, team yet. Yeah, Nico is um, 08 or 09. Yeah. They signed him. So there's only two people, but still, they've got this tenacity. They've got Brady and they've got Belichick, and that's enough to propel them. And they, this is a team that. That most certainly can run the table. Yeah, they can. And I think that they should. I, I because just, I think they need to tell the the rest of the NFL, screw you. That's what they need to tell. And then this year, they need to capitalize on that screw you by with a capital they S have to, by winning the they Super have Bowl. To win they the have Super Bowl. to win the Super Bowl this year. Absolutely. Regardless whether they yeah. – even if they lose a game in their season, they have to win the Super well, Bowl. I, I think year. they're – you know, we're talking about, fifth, you know, what do they do if they're 15-0? I don't think they're going to get to 15 and 0. I, I do think they're going to lose a game somewhere along the way because teams teams just don't. There's a reason why only teams well, only one team has gone 16 and 0. It's because it just doesn't happen. You, you have trap games. You lose a game that you're not you're not expected to win. And you look you look through all the teams and that have re- gone. And you really think that's going to be the Texans? I, it could be. Here's what's it's going to be. It's going to be a game that we expect them to win. They're going to go into. Well, don't we say expect that, them all to win? Win them all. I expect them to win every single one of these uh, games. Yeah, and that's kind of my point. Is that you well, know, we're then you have no choice for it to be a game that they expect yeah. them to win. <laughs> I mean, we're we're gonna expect them. There's they're they're you know there's no way they're gonna lose. It's gonna be something like the Texans, where it's the Texans aren't a good team. 
they don't have a quarterback, but I think, again, that's that's a team that I could see winning. They go going down to Houston. Houston is a underrated. You know, we, we talk about it's Miami defense. That's it. I'm talking about the, the venue, Reliance Stadium. It's it. And playing at Houston, it's you know we talk about Miami. We talk about um, Denver. Some people even talk about Indianapolis, where just you go there and things happen. Where things happen oh, no, but over if, Brady's. If Houston Brian is a Hoyer is the starting quarterback. Don't you think Belichick is? Yeah, gonna but just there's again, him. there's something. Remember that that game two years ago? They they just barely you know walked out of Houston with a win against the Houston team that was. Awful. I think they they won like three games. They lost like the last like twelve or thirteen games. The difference at the time Kubiak's was last year. Yeah, but the difference at that time was that was where le- Welker shredded his knee. But that was a de- that was a legitimate team that played bad, and yeah. they were able to step it up the next year because they like they this is a bad Houston team. The team that the Patriots played a couple of years ago, even though they lost, was a legitimate Houston team. But they had lost their starting quarterback in Matt Schaub. So. And much well, I still think the, that's a really good defense. And it, w- and, but it was a really team, good defense back then. Yeah, and, and they had a really good defense back then, too. But it was a really good too. offense as well. Yeah, just, yeah well, would, absolutely. Andre Johnson and uh, Arian Fo- healthy mm, Arian Foster is a yeah. very good they offense. They still had no quarterback. Well, that's because Brian, uh, Matt Schaub got hurt. Yeah. Matt Schaub, when he was healthy. Who's, who's their quarterback? That I don't even remember their probably, quarterback was. Wasn't it TJ Yates? Was it TJ Yates? Or Casey Keenum? Maybe. I don't think Keenum was there yet. Maybe it was Keenum. I don't know. The point being was... That their start, they were down a starting quarterback. That was a legitimate yeah. team, and a team that many people pegged to be a playoff contender that year. So this is not a team that anyone pegs to be a playoff contender, even though they're kind of. I thought, are right I now thought there were people that thought they they could. They, oh, who who thought they were going to be a playoff contender? Like, is it like Ryan a, Mallett like a, and Arian Foster? Is it like a wild card team? Is it like a wild card? I team? think you're pulling something out of your butt right now, Pat. No, I, I, there, there were no, there no were people. Thought, no one. No, there were a lot of people are saying they were they were kind of like Buffalo, where they they didn't have a quarterback. They had a very they had a very solid team around them. Who was solid around them? Arian Foster was supposed to be out for the first six weeks. Mm-hmm. They lost Andre Johnson. They, no, no one was solid around them. Their offensive line was in shambles. Well, I think the big thing the was their defense was the just big the thing only was their thing. defense. But that and defense, JJ Watt. Yeah, but I don't was, think anyone. JJ Watt's. By the way, Jerry, JJ Watt's a very overrated, overrated player. Oh well, we can get into that. Yeah, that's, that's a different. That's story. for a few weeks away. Um, but. but no, the, this team, the the Texans team back when we came out of there, that was a good team. Missing a starting quarterback. This is a bad team. Also missing a starting quarterback. Mm-hmm. And Brian Hoyer. I just feel like if Patriots, if Belichick is getting to go against Brian Hoyer, he's licking his chops. Oh my God, Be- Be- Belichick knows everything about Brian Hoyer, and his defense knows Brian Hoyer still too. So I just, I can't see how um, the Texans, even if mysterious things happen in Reliance Stadium, I can't see how they win it. The win, but- the one game I thought that maybe they they could have lost was Sunday's game, and they almost did. And you know what? That That's almost a, it's the Giants game. The yeah. Giants game, and you know what? I'm I'm almost happy that they barely won it because they did if they did win it, which I'm happy about, mm-hmm. and then they barely won it, which I'm happy about because it, I think it is good, and I think uh, Mike Felger and Tony Maserati they talk about this all the time on uh, 98.5 Sports Hub. They talk about how it's important to have games that test your te- your character and test mm-hmm. your mentality and test your team. And this was one of them. We have had very few of those. Well, there, the Col- the I mean, Colts you know, was one of them. 2007, there are quite a few of them, though. Yeah, but this and year. That Eagles this, game, that about, Ravens game. I'm talking about this yeah. year, though. Been very few. There was the Jets and there was the Colts. And really, that was it. Um, and not even as much the, uh, the Colts because the Colts had a comeback. I mean, it was, they, were, they were pretty much blowing the Colts out for most of that game. But the Jets, that was a close game. And then it was, yes, on Sunday's game. I mean, I think and the they, biggest. And they, they came back and did it against all their demons. Against all their demons, so that was the game they got over it. I think they got over their hump, and now they're it's a clear path. Yeah, but I think their character's been tested all season long with all the crap they've had to go through. We talk about the mudslinging that went on during the the OTAs and throughout training camp with yeah, all the Flategate stuff. Then you got the all the nonsense popping playing. up. That's no, but you, you got to deal with it. It's yeah, everyone's got to deal with it nonsense. Everyone yeah, has to but deal with that's, nonsense. That's not the same as but, being. But contested. not every team has to deal with week in and week in out. But we got people t- saying that you you're, you have yeah, to you t- cheated this in, was in litigation. And the flake gate and all that's, that crap. That's different. This is being contested on the field. And this is one of the few games we've actually been contested on the field where Malcolm Butler actually went up and shut someone down. Completely mm-hmm. shut Odell Beckham down. We saw what the secondary was made out of. We saw what this uh, defensive line was really made of. We saw what this offense was made of with a fourth quarter drive, which we haven't had to do all season long, a, a last-minute drive. And that's the mentality you want to see. So, yeah. 
you're, they're tested by all the crap that they're getting from mm-hmm. the media. But this is a different kind of testing, and they proved it and passed it. I mean, going back, but going back, I mean, looking through the teams that the past teams have started out 12 and 0, 13 and 0. Really going back to the '98 Broncos. You had the '98 Broncos. Uh, you had the Colts in 05. You had the Patriots in 07. The Saints, the Saints and the Colts in uh, 09, and then the the Packers in 2011. Obviously, the only one over that stretch has been the Patriots going 16 and 0. But all of those teams really have one thing in common. They start out 12 and 0. They have 12 and 0, 13 and 0. There is one big win along there, like the few weeks before they lost that first game, where it's like, okay, they're gonna they win this game. Okay, they got this. They're they, they're, you know, they're 12 and 0. They got four games left against these, you know, teams. There, there's no way they're gonna lose to any of these teams. Mm-hmm. I think the I think the Broncos game next week. They come out of Bronco, come out of Denver with a win over the Broncos, which I think will happen. I, I I said a few weeks ago it was like 41 to 10 where everyone was touting their defense. I think it's like 34 to 10 now. I don't, yeah, now I don't, Edelman's hurt. I don't see the Broncos as a big win anymore. I I never did. Oh, I, I did. I but never. I don't. I, I don't anymore. Yeah, but I never <laughs> believed their defense. It's Kubiak and it's Wade Phillips. It's, Belichick has waxed them. You, you, you talk about you know your your brain melting at the sight of Belichick. Wade Phillips and Mike Kubiak are like the. But if your point, your the, point, you were just trying to make is. That you come out of a big win and yep. then you end up losing the following week. So what's the big well, win? Maybe not the following week, but the week, you know, a few weeks after. I think the big win's probably in Denver. But it, I, we just said we don't think that is a big I, win. But anymore. but for a lot of people, people think it's a big win. That's going to be they, the big roadblock. I think people used to think that, and I think and I think they saw that at the beginning mm-hmm. of the year. But now they're seeing how banged up Peyton is, how bad he is, yep. even when he's healthy, and they're seeing the defense struggle a little bit right now. I'm not so sure a real Patriot fan. Thinks that's a big win anymore. I think they saw the Giants as the big win. Which, if that is your, if your point is that they come out a couple weeks later, then that means the Broncos might yeah. be the trap game. No, I, I wouldn't. I don't think the Broncos if, are if a trap that, game because the big win, in my opinion, is the Giants. So if your mm-hmm. point is maybe one or two weeks later after a big win, you lose it because you're so you know you're caught up, hung up in the past, and you're not you're not working as hard. That would mean either this week or against the Bills or this week against the Broncos. And I just don't see either. The Patriots don't lose in prime time, except for yeah. in the Super Bowl to the Giants, and that's about it. Well, so, I think I think with the Giants, the Giants were a big win. That was a that was a team that was the Patriots were far better. I mean, have than you the, ever seen Belichick so ecstatic after a regular season win? I never have. Yeah, I mean and, that was incredible. He was so happy. I've I've never seen that before. And that and that was against the Giants too, which is an organization he has all the respect in the world yeah, for. But that he needed yeah, to get he, that he monkey credits, off his he back. He credits everything to the Giants. He, needs, he credits his whole career to the Giants. He needed to get the monkey off his back though, and he did. Yeah. So what's to stop him from just blowing everyone out of the water now? I in my opinion, the only well, thing injuries. to stop him is injuries. Yeah. yeah. It's Edelman and it's Deion Lewis. If the Patriots lose to the Texans or to the Broncos or the Eagles, Titans, Dolphins, Jets. They're not losing to them. They're losing to themselves, most likely. And it's mm-hmm. the, on their own mistakes. No team is going to come and play the Patriots or go uh, have the Patriots come to them and beat the Patriots. Patriots can only beat themselves right now. And with Edelman and Deion Lewis out, that and now this offensive line pretty damn banged mm-hmm. up. Though uh, It's, it's going to be hard. But if that defense, the defense has been able to stay pretty healthy. I know mm-hmm. Collins has been hurt, but it's not a – Season ending in, I, injury. I it's just a know. weird. Well, what is going on with Collins? He's Does anybody sick. know? He's sick. He's, he's sick. He's but a he's weird been, illness. He's been sick for a week and a half. Right. I mean, he's been. Sick. You don't have the flu but for it's a week not, and a half. Well, you might. Who knows what type of illness I he don't got? Know. The point is, it's not. A, Starting it's not to get worried a, about that. It's not a season ending injury for most likely. Yeah, it shouldn't it's an, be. It's an illness. Jabal Sheard's finally back, which yep. is good. And when Collins comes back, that that team's going to be blitzing like crazy and getting to the quarterback after quarterback. Secondary's healthy. Everyone's healthy on that defense, so that's big. Because the defense, we need everyone to be healthy because there's not a lot of depth in the secondary, at least. Um, See, this is the same exact thing. You know, like people in Green Bay were probably saying this in 2011 when, yeah. you know, they, they beat the Lions on Thanksgiving. Oh, who's going to beat this? Who's going to beat this Green Bay team? They ended up losing to Kansas City, who was like 5-8. and eight. Bad, but the Green and Bay team is not the Patriots team. I'm not that was a pretty com- good team, though. It doesn't matter. It, I don't Defending think it Super matters. Defending Super Bowl champions. I will never compare Mike McCarthy to Bill Belichick. Oh, me neither. But I'm saying that was a very that was a very good team. That There's was a been team a lot, a lot of, of really good teams that like, have been Like undefeated. this Patriots team, people thought this team should I will not compare a Patriots undefeated team to any other undefeated team except for a Patriots undefeated team. Because there is no team that's better. There's no undefeated team in my mind that's better than a Patriots undefeated team. With Belichick well, at the helm to, and Brady. you got the best court coach in the world ever, yep. and you got the greatest quarterback of all time. So regardless okay, of how so, great so, that so team is going to compare to So if we're going to compare to another Patriots team, well, let's talk about the 07 team. You remember that, that Ravens game, right? Yeah. 
they they lose that Ravens game if, if Rex Ryan doesn't call a timeout. That 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 is that's, they fa- that's fact, not opinion. They, but they won it. They they but they didn't convert that fourth down. They won it. It doesn't matter. Rex they Ryan called a timeout out of nowhere. It doesn't matter. They but I'm saying it. they they should have lost that game so if it had what? not been for a dumb timeout call. But what does the record say? Oh yeah, they went they, sixteen. They and 0. won it. So but, it doesn't matter because there's gonna be strange things that happen in all the games right now. Belichick gets into people's head without even trying to. That is something that's happening. We saw it on Sunday night with Tom Coughlin not to, uh, not running the ball and instead throwing the ball. We saw it in the Super Bowl with Pete Carroll throwing the ball instead of running the ball. Belichick gets into people's heads without even trying, so there's always going to be some other coach's mistake mm-hmm. of doing it, and the Patriots will always capitalize on that mistake. That's what makes them so good. So is it when we compare this team to the 2007 team, the question is, is this team better, which we discussed last week. I think the Patriots team is better this um, this year. Now, though, with Edelman and Deion Lewis out. I think Lewis their defense out, is better. Well, with Edelman and Deion Lewis out, I don't think they are better anymore. Um, but I think this team is still way better than anyone else in the league and can easily Mm -hmm. run the table. And I don't think that there's anyone in the way to stop them because this offensive line should be getting healthier. Uh, I mean, ideally, Trey Jackson should be back soon or otherwise they would have put him on the IR. Shaq Mason should be getting healthier. Uh, Brian Stork's healthy, uh, getting healthier. Um, And then who do we... Volmer got a concussion, so he should be back in a week or two, maybe this week. So this team should be getting healthier. LaFell's starting to get... The hang of things as well. He's looked pretty good the last two weeks. That I think LaFell looks not, great. His yeah. the interception was not LaFell's fault. Uh, Brady took accountability for it. He said it was a throw mm-hmm. he shouldn't have made. Um, it was a, or a bad throw is what he yeah. said. It was just a bad throw. So I think this team is still really good. And still, even if they're not as good as the 07 team, the league was better in 07. The league is not better. The league this year is bad. And yeah, the teams you, we're playing, oh, my God, Bills. I'll, try, I'll take that as a win. A crappy Broncos team right now, mm-hmm. take it as a win. The Eagles, they just lost Bradford to a concussion. And even with Bradford, yeah, in, they won't be. I prefer Bradford than Sanchez. I think Sanchez is a better fit for that team, anyways. It's a bad team, regardless. I would, we'll I would, I would take, if, if I could play Mark Sanchez 17 weeks out of the <laughs> year, I would take that. I, I would, I prefer Bradford, but the point is, that team's bad, regardless, okay? And then you got the Texans, who. We would both agree are not a good team. You think it might be a trap game, which okay, I'll give you their stats. I mean, they're Foxborough self. Look but at look at their coaching staff. But they're not a they're not a good team though. That doesn't mean they're a good team. They might yeah. you you think it's a trap game. I disagree. But the point is, it's not a good team. Titans are not a good team. Uh, Titans are terrible. They're, yeah, they're not a good team. The Jets are not a very good team, and the Dolphins are not a very good team either. So we've got what six games left? Seven games left? Am I counting that right? Seven games left against not very good teams. Yep. That should speak for itself, this team should be able to go undefeated. Should be able to. Should be able to. But we'll find out. We've always seen, we, again, we've, we've said this about so many teams and, and, and Patriots teams too. I mean, the, the Patriots in, in 04, the, the greatest Patriots team ever uh, in 2004, I mean, they, were, they were supposedly on the fast track to go in 15-1, and one, and then they played a, I think it was like a 1-13 Miami Dolphins team. They lost that one. So, I mean, you we're, anything can happen, and you know. Again, when you're when you're when you're on on a streak like this, I just think things happen in games, and I I just don't see it happening again. Well, I and it not this year. When things yeah. happen in games, they they're working in Patriots' favor right now, and I'm gonna keep riding that until until something changes. But you know, we'll take a week by week basis. They play the. The Bills on the 23rd at 8.30 p.m., primetime game at home. We'll see what happens then. That about wraps up quick points for today. I'm Alex Hirsch alongside the BU News Service sports editor, Pat O'Rourke. Tune in on Friday for our um, next episode of 4 and Out. Should be a good one. We'll be talking a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things. There will be some good points to catch up on then. And, of course, so, the predictions. Oh, of course, our predictions, which will obviously be Patriots as well. So, until maybe. then, maybe, maybe not, uh, I guess. Who knows? We'll, maybe we'll throw a curveball in there. Um, until then, have a good rest of the week.